Despite being widely and heavily criticized by American neurosurgeons, tens of thousands of lobotomies were performed in the US during the 1940s and 1950s. A lobotomy is a surgical procedure in which the nerve pathways of one or more lobes of the brain are severed from other lobes. This archaic and radical surgical practice was used as a therapeutic measure to help alleviate symptoms of severe mental illness in self-destructive, delusional, or violent patients. In the late 1930s, American neurologists Walter J. Friedman and James W. Watts refined the lobotomy and promoted its success as a miracle procedure through the American media. In 1945, Freeman created the transorbital lobotomy. While the procedure did appear to alleviate agitation and tension in patients, it also left many apathetic and passive with reduced concentration and emotional depth. Some also died as a result of the procedure, yet Freeman himself supervised 3,500 of them during his career. The procedure's popularity waned in the 1950s when it was discovered that antidepressants, antipsychotics, and other medication did a much better job of managing mental health symptoms in patients. 